The Tesla Hertz deal has a much bigger impact than just selling 100,000 cars. Today we are going to take a closer look at what this deal means to Tesla and for Hertz. In the words of Tom Brady, let's go. Let's go. This Hertz deal is a bit of a Trojan horse, I think. And I think that people do not have quite the idea of what its long-term impacts are going to be. And I am really excited to go over what these impacts are going to be. So let's get right to it. What is the deal? The deal is that Hertz is going to purchase 100,000 Model 3 real-wheel drive cars. These do not include full self-driving and they are the base model. Hertz is paying full price for these cars. They are not getting any deal. And Elon Musk has pointed out that no one is going to get a deal until supply has really met up with demand. I think the only real deal that Hertz might get out of this is that they might get some custom chargers that Tesla might help them design. But other than that, I don't think that Hertz is going to get any real deal out of this. In fact, I think the only person who's really making out like a bandit here is Tesla. So I'm excited to see how Tesla is going to take advantage of this. The biggest challenge with electric vehicles is charging infrastructure telling people in the world that the charging infrastructure is there to support them. This deal where Hertz is going to be purchasing all these cars really tells the public that, hey, electric cars are prime time. You can go to anywhere in the world and there is charging infrastructure there for you to support you. And you will not be left high and dry without electrons to power your vehicle. I think that this shift in understanding is really big for the public. And I think that being able to legitimize the charging infrastructure is really a big impact for this deal. The next biggest thing about this is butts in seats. The best way to sell cars is butts in seats. And with Tesla getting all these cars out there, people are going to get an opportunity to drive a Tesla when they might not have in the past. In the past, there are only a couple ways for you to drive a Tesla or to test drive one. One, you could call up Tesla facilities and try and get a test drive. There are few far between because most of the cars were being sold. You might know somebody and that might be how you got to test drive a Model 3 or a Model Y, but that relied on you knowing somebody. In a lot of places, there aren't people around to give you a test drive and you never get an extended test drive at that. You never get a few days to learn what it's like to really own an electric car. And once you have had an electric car for a few days, you see that all of your fears about charging, all those just slip away. In the past, one of the only ways to really get an extended test drive of a Tesla was through Turo. And that was basically the VRBO of car rental. And not many people felt comfortable with that. Having now a legitimate car rental agency to rent a Tesla from really gives people a uh, good feeling in their stomach that they can rent this car. It's going to be what they expect. It's going to be there for them. It's going to be charged. It's going to be ready. And I think that that is something that many people are going to take up on a trip because not only are they going to say, oh, let's go to Disney World, but they're going to say, hey, let's go to Disney World. And hey, you know, for dad, I want to try out that new Tesla. I want to see what that's like. This will be a good opportunity to spend seven days with a brand new car that has a lot of cool technology that dad wants to try out. Once you send drive in a Tesla, it is hard to go back. I am speaking from experience and I can tell you that I have a tough time driving a gas mobile nowadays. So it's, it's something you have to deal with after you've driven a Tesla. And these Tesla rental experiences are going to have similar impacts on people. And having an extended test drive is really going to teach people all of the ins and outs of owning an electric car. Specifically with the Tesla, they need to get used to not having a heads up display, right? You only have that iPad looking thing right next to you. So you have to get used to that. It's a little bit of an acquired taste, but once you get used to it, you love it. In addition, you have to get used to all of the amazing technology that is in a Tesla. There is a ton of technology and the connectivity that you get from a Tesla is essentially better than any other car I've ever seen. And I think the biggest thing to get used to with the Tesla is the speed. Oh my gosh, they are so fast. Even though you might say, oh, well, you know, people don't really need speed. They don't need it. 
but they do love having it when they have it. We can expect to see a lot of people renting Teslas gunning it for the first time all over the nation. I also think that one thing that people are gonna really love about renting a Tesla is that I think Hertz is going to make it so you do not need to refuel your car before you come back in because they have the charging infrastructure right there. And with an electric car, it really doesn't make sense to try and have people try and charge their car before they bring it in. That's just not a realistic expectation. Having their chargers there, you won't have to refuel. And I think as a customer, I would love to not have to go and find a gas station right before I drop the car off. There are also some amazing personalized things you can get with the Tesla. The Tesla that I drive, every time I get into the seat, it adjusts the seat for me and my settings. All of the settings, temperature, those things, they follow me. And that is something that Tesla and Hertz are going to work to develop here in the future so that when you sit in the car, if you already own a Tesla, you are going to have everything move right to where you like it. As a big guy, I can say I'm excited about having something where I don't have to adjust everything every time I get into the car. And that's really gonna be great. As a result of all of these great test drives, there is going to be a large increase in demand for Teslas. And it's already here, but it's going to get worse. Yeah, so get used to it. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things about Hertz having Teslas is that there are going to be Teslas in parts of the US that do not see very many Teslas today. People will see those Teslas out and about in places where they are not accustomed to seeing them. I think that this is really great because I, here in the Northwest, I see Teslas everywhere, right? There's a handful just down the street, right? But there are certainly places where there are many fewer Teslas and seeing them on the road really legitimizes Tesla as a company. It shows people that these cars are out and about and they are growing in popularity. Another big impact of having these Teslas everywhere is that there are now going to be hotels that will need to cater specifically to electric vehicle drivers. And this has not really existed to a large amount to date. Many hotels, they'll have one, two chargers, maybe, maybe three, but having Hertz have a population of Teslas out there in the environment means that there are going to be hotels that need to cater to Teslas. If you're a more expensive hotel, you're going to want to be able to tout that you are the Tesla hotel for people to visit in your area because those people have the money to rent a Tesla and you wanna have them renting at a room at your establishment. So I expect to see a big jump in demand for chargers at these hotels. With new charging at the hotels means that there are going to be more destination chargers. There will be more slow charging plugs that I expect to see at hotels kind of cropping up. And generally, these hotels will want to be seen as the best place to stop and charge. The Hertz deal has not only been a success for Hertz in terms of publicity, it has also been a big success in terms of their stock price. Their stock has gone from $25 to $32 per share. That's a big jump. And I can guarantee you that there are some hotel chains out there that are looking to capitalize on the same jump in share price that Hertz has experienced. Remember, Hertz has recently emerged from bankruptcy, so they're not exactly in the greatest spot. And since they have now paired with Tesla, they are now seen as the number one rental company, even though they just emerged from bankruptcy. How does a company go from bankruptcy to being seen as number one? That's crazy. But that is what is happening with Hertz having this deal with Tesla. I really expect that because of this, jump in valuation because of this jump in demand, jump in interest for Hertz. Uh, there are many people looking for Hertz rentals now where they had before. You can see it on Twitter everywhere. With this change, you are going to see a hotel chain looking to link itself to Tesla. I fully expect there is going to be a hotel chain who tries to partner with Tesla and they will say, hey, maybe we will pay for a bunch of superchargers at our hotel. So that way we can be seen as the Tesla hotel chain. And I expect they will try and use that 
in their marketing, in their sales, in their commercials to show Teslas, show Tesla charging at their hotels. Not only is this a win for Tesla because now Tesla is getting more free advertising, but it's going to be a big win for that hotel because now they're going to be seen as the best place to take a Tesla and stay. I also anticipate that another rental company is looking to get a deal with Tesla as we speak. This has been a big enough impact for Hertz that if I was a competitor, there is no way I would be want to be caught sitting on the sidelines while Hertz is stealing everyone else's thunder. It's a good time for say an Avis or say a National to come along and say, hey, we too are going green. We are going electric as well. So here is our lineup of Tesla cars that we are also purchasing. It might be a year or two out <laughs> with all the demand that's going to be cropping up, but I fully anticipate this demand is going to happen. By Tesla not playing the advertising game, they have really created an in-crowd mentality of companies that are in with Tesla. And I think that this is going to pay dividends for years and years to come. It is going to be amazing to watch as companies clamor to try and be associated with Tesla. They're going to say, oh, I want to be the company who has Teslas as company cars. I want to be the company that provides a sound system to Tesla. I want to be the company that helps sell tires to Tesla. There are so many ways in which people and companies will want to be linked with Tesla because they are not playing the game. They are not trying to say, oh, this is what we are. They're just saying we're going to make a great product and the product sells itself and the product is what's going to drive all of this demand. I think the biggest thing for Tesla is that all of this exposure from the rental car companies, from the hotel companies, in terms of charging infrastructure, um, just visibility of more cars in different places, this is all just going to act as a demand catalyst. And I think this is going to be a huge thing for Tesla. Frankly, I don't see the demand going down for like ages. So this is going to be a huge win for Tesla. It's going to be a huge win for Hertz. And I love that Hertz is really tying itself to number one electric car company and the number one quarterback, Tom Brady. Some people say, I have no opinion here or there. <laughs> All of this together means that there are going to be more electric cars on the road. This is going to be increasing our transition to a sustainable future. I'm really excited about how all of this is going to help accelerate that. So let's go. Same time next week. You got it. Cool. Let's go.